Hello there, welcome back. Uh, if you've made it this far, very well done. You've now got a flying airplane going through a mountainous terrain. It looks fan dabby dozy. Uh, but the thing that's kind of letting us down at the moment is beyond the mountains, there is just an abyss of nothingness, uh, which we don't want. So in order to get rid of that, we're going to have ourselves a sky map or a sky box. So um, in order to do that, it could not be much easier, to be honest. We just need a big ass sphere. So click and drag, and you just want it to kind of encompass all of your terrain like that. And then once I've done that, I'm just going to center it. And then I'm going to go inside and see what it's looking like. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm looking for. Okay, and then like we did in the previous step, we need to create a sky um, texture for this. So into the hypershade again. Again, I'll hide this bit because I never use it. Uh, first thing you want to do is clear your work area, which is this icon up here. Pop. And then we need a new Lambert. And into the attribute editor, I'm going to call this Sky M for my sky material. And then I'm going to apply the image that is in the source images folder to that. So click on the checker box, click on File, click on the folder under Image Name, and then my sky texture is called Sky Versus Moon. I like that name. It's kind of like they've had a bit of a falling out. Uh, I like I like to think that the sky and moon don't like each other. And then I click on open. And then with your middle mouse button, drag your sky material onto your sky shape. Pop. And there we go. So now I'm going to go into... Yeah, I quite like that. I think the only thing I want to do is just move it down a little bit so that I'm a little bit happier sort of with the alignment of the horizon. About there. Oh, Oh, that's good. Yeah. So, already, that is looking much nicer. Okay, we'll leave this step here, with the sky looking all um, triumphant. But what we're going to look at in the next video is how we add a glow to just this area of the texture, and that's going to make the sun look like it's shining, which is what we want to happen. So, I will see you in the next video for that.